I'm going to bring in now Congressman um, Ted Lieu, Democrat from California. Congressman, as always, um, we thank you. I want you to pick up, if you can, Congressman, on the point that I made earlier, which is kind of this idea, right, that Cinema has said, this is who I've always been. This is really who she's been over the last, you know, four to six years um, since Trump was in um, the White House. However, when, when she was uh, in the House, she was certainly definitely more leaning blue, more progressive than she is um, now, what do you make of this transition um, that your former colleague in the House is making? Uh, thank you, Yasmin, for your question. Uh, I did serve uh, with Senator Cinema in the House. People are free to change their party registration. I think the important point from all of this is she is still going to caucus with the Senate Democrats, meaning that Senate Democrats will have a 51 to 49 majority, which means faster confirmations of Joe Biden's picks, as well as perhaps faster passage of laws that help American people. Um, do you buy, though, that this is who she's always been? Or do you think, as you're saying, history this is really just trajectory. more of a transition that she's made as a politician? If you look at history and her trajectory, clearly uh, she has changed. Uh, she started out as a Green yeah. Party activists, and now she's an independent. And so people uh, in America can uh, change their party registration. Uh, it's a free country. What's important is who she's going to caucus with, and she's going to continue caucusing with Democrats. All right, Congressman, I, I want to talk about um, the J6 committee, if we can, here. Here's what Politico is reporting. They're holding this weekend meeting, it seems, to talk about this final report, the possible criminal referrals as well to send um, to DOJ. Some other outlets as well, uh, like Bloomberg, also reporting, NBC, though, has not independently confirmed that they may likely refer um, the former president himself to the DOJ, in addition to some other key figures like Mark Meadows, uh, Rudy Giuliani um, as well. What do you make of this? What do you know? about what this wrap-up is going to look like and the possible criminal referrals. Uh, I'm a former prosecutor, and I don't have access to the actual evidence, but just looking at the public reporting, it's very clear that there was a conspiracy to get fake electors appointed to overturn the will of the people in multiple states. That is highly illegal. You cannot do that. And it would not surprise me that the people involved will get criminal referrals. And as far as I can tell, the people involved include Donald Trump, as well as some of his top-level associates. Can we also talk about the passage of um, the Respect for Marriage Act that you guys passed earlier this week? It, of course, does not go as far as LGBTQ plus rights um, advocates would have um, liked. For one, it would not prevent states from banning same-sex marriage um, should Obergefell uh, be overturned by SCOTUS. But why was it important to get this on the books? Uh, it's important because it does protect interracial marriage and marriage equality, and it forces any state to honor uh, the marriage of any other state. And so, for example, if California uh, has marriage equality, uh, then Idaho is going to have to honor that uh, if a couple were to move into Idaho. And that by itself is a very strong protection. I want to offer you, Congressman, if I can, some congratulations. You're now the first Asian American to be elected vice chair um, of the House Democratic Caucus. What does this representation, um, this position mean to you? Uh, thank you. I think that's a recognition by my Democratic colleagues that the Asian American community is growing in importance. And if you look at the U.S. Census, it shows that Asian Americans, Native Hawaiians and Pacific Islanders have more than doubled in size since 2000. And this is a community that is not only growing in states like California and New York, but also presidential swing states like Nevada and Georgia. And I'm very pleased that my Democratic colleagues elected me to vice chair. And how is the Democratic Party in general in the House especially going to deal with Republicans now uh, in control who have planned to launch multiple investigations come the new session in January? Uh, I hope that Republicans take a lesson from these midterms where Democrats way overperformed and work with Democrats to move the American people with great laws and to help American families. We have to make sure that we focus on putting people over politics and lower costs, better paying jobs and safer communities. My fear is Republicans are going to take exactly the opposite lesson from these midterms and double down on stupid things like investigating Hunter Biden's laptop. So we'll see uh, next year what happens. So, so what do you do that, about that if, in fact, that's what they do? Uh, we will continue to point out uh, how 
investigating Hunter Biden's laptop and nude pictures of Hunter Biden is not going to move the American family forward. What we have to do is try to uh, turn down costs and improve uh, the quality of life of all Americans. And we're going to keep highlighting that contrast. California Congressman Ted Lieu, thank you.